Wait, hello. I'm gonna film us um, doing three potting. This is my internal vlogging. The phone? Oh my god! Are you okay? Right, so now we're gonna go outside and uh, plant some things. We got all these vegetables that we bought yesterday. So, you know, hopefully that can grow um, during the growing season. And we got this little thing from uh, Target and it comes with seeds, which is really cool. But it's kind of like a standing planter. And so we're gonna put it on the balcony. And then when it's um, colder outside, we can always bring it in. That way the vegetables don't die or anything. It's a little cloudy outside today and not too sunny, um, but I think we can still do it. Here is our supply of goodies that we're planting today. I have a couple house plants that I need to repot, but then we also have some strawberries, some cilantro, some lettuce. It's so loud out here because we have cars down here. Um, but I will try to be loud. And then we have the cilantro growing in the window too. So hopefully, it's my news. So hopefully all that can probably go in these containers. I'm not sure how we're gonna split it up yet, um, but we'll see how that goes.
trouble with the insulation of the legs. It's really hard. And they're not like instructions on how to put in, but this will have to do. So it didn't have holes in it. So I'm gonna suggest that we drill like here, 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 and then maybe two on each side, just so it has enough uh, space, you know, for the water to go through. That wasn't a complete sentence. Did that make sense? Um, just because it's a really big bed and we want enough drainage. So I say like one, two, three, four, five, six, eight holes at least. Yeah. But he's happy. All right, we're gonna plant the carrots next, right here. Melly. Ooh, look at the roots on that. 
so big, kids. I feel like a thicker. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you can loosen it at the bottom a little bit or on top. Loosen it on top and the bottom, too. So, we didn't have enough soil. So, right now we're going to go make a quick soil run, probably to Lowe's, and then we'll finish um, re repotting the rest of the carrots and the strawberries that we got. Um, and then we're going to put the cilantro in its own little container just because. Um, my girl loves her cilantro um so we can have like a lot growing that we can always cut as we go so yeah we're gonna go to Lowe's now no, no. the most difficult trip ever um but we got some more so hopefully this should work out so we've got our strawberries our carrots and our lettuce don't eat the dirt please try to transport the cilantro into this container squeeze all right done with that done with this cilantro uh, put this back inside now. Some of my lovely plants that are in need of repotting. soil from Lowe's it's like a sphagnum mix I think I'm saying that right sphagnum so I'm mixing this one with this miracle Grow soil um, see if my plants like that
this little calathea yesterday. I love calatheas, but they do not love me. Sorry about my ashy hands, but they do not love me. Um, so I'm hoping that this one survives and that it gives out lots of new babies because I really love calatheas, like I said, um, but they don't love me. So hopefully this one makes it. stars in the past that did not make it very long and so I'm hoping that this full sort of full grown one has a lot more success it has this tiny little bud coming in so hopefully that you know sprouts up and this one can hopefully be happier than my last ones but these are all my plants they are planted I'm gonna go do some plant chores um, but thank you so much for watching um, let me know what you think